Viking ships, halls and bridges have outlasted centuries of wind, rain and ice, leaving us with timber that has endured over a millennium. At first glance, it seems impossible. Modern wood exposed to the elements rarely lasts more than a few decades. But Vikings developed a method that allowed their structures to survive extreme climates without modern chemicals. This was not magic. It was careful observation, selection, preparation, and natural treatment. Understanding their techniques gives us insights into practical, sustainable ways to preserve wood today, whether for construction, garden projects, or woodworking. Vikings knew that water was the enemy of wood and designed around it. The foundation of Viking wood preservation was moisture management. Timber in constant contact with soil or standing water decayed quickly, while wood raised, ventilated or strategically placed lasted far longer. Archaeological evidence from Viking halls shows beams resting on stone supports, allowing airflow beneath floors. Shipwrights, you know, designed hulls in such a way as to shed water, ensure proper drainage, and prevent stagnant moisture from settling between the planks. Modern applications are, well, really quite straightforward. Always store timber off the ground and make sure there's air circulation on all sides. When you're building outdoor structures, it's best to elevate beams on stone or metal supports, provide roof overhangs to divert rain, and, importantly, avoid creating water traps around posts. These simple measures honestly dramatically extend the life of wood, echoing techniques that enabled Viking timber to survive those harsh northern winters. Natural oils and resins protected wood from rot and insects. Vikings didn't rely solely on placement. They treated wood with natural substances. Pine tar, pitch and oils penetrated timber, creating a water-resistant barrier while deterring fungi and insects. Ship hulls, in particular, received heavy applications of tar, which helped vessels survive long ocean voyages. Beams in exposed halls were often coated multiple times, creating a durable protective layer that repelled moisture without chemicals. For modern use, boiled linseed oil, pine tar or beeswax blends provide similar protection. Apply liberally to end grain, joints and exposed surfaces and, well, reapply seasonally. Even small projects like garden benches or raised beds benefit enormously. By mimicking Viking practices, you create wood that resists rot naturally and honestly lasts decades longer than untreated alternatives. Choosing the right timber and cutting it properly enhanced longevity. Vikings were, you know, quite selective about the wood species they used. Dense heartwood from oak, ash or pine was usually favoured for structural elements. While sapwood, high in moisture and sugars, was often avoided, mainly because it tends to rot rather quickly. The way wood was cut mattered too. Quarter-sawn timber resisted warping, drained water efficiently, and really helped maintain structural integrity. You know, the orientation of the grain further helped prevent moisture accumulation. It's a subtle detail, but quite important, actually. 
These days, modern builders can take the same approach. So, select naturally durable species, focus on hardwood for structural projects, and whenever possible, use quarter-sawn boards or beams. And just as a little tip, orient boards so water drains naturally from surfaces. It really does make a difference over time. These steps, though simple, actually replicate centuries-old Viking wisdom and, you know, dramatically increase wood longevity in outdoor or high-stress environments. Patience in drying and curing timber prevented early decay. Freshly cut wood, known as green timber, is highly vulnerable to rot. Vikings allowed timber to air dry for months or even years before installation. Boards were stacked in ventilated sheds or under eaves. Sometimes, you know, wood was separated by straw or sand to encourage even drying. Only after moisture levels stabilised did craftsmen use the wood in ships, halls or bridges. This really prevented twisting, cracking and fungal growth. Today, air drying is just as effective. Just stack boards off the ground, rotate them occasionally and, well, avoid covering them with plastic that traps condensation. Properly cured wood is, well, more stable, less prone to decay, and honestly, much easier to work with. Applying this step alone can, in fact, replicate the remarkable longevity observed in Viking timber. Combining these techniques, you know, creates wood that lasts for generations. The genius of Viking timber preservation really lies in combining multiple strategies. Control moisture through elevation and ventilation, apply natural oils or resins, and select dense heartwood. So, orient and cut timber carefully and, you know, allow it to dry fully before use. Each step, honestly, reinforces the others, producing wood capable of withstanding centuries of use, harsh climates and, well, extreme weather. For modern projects, these methods are, I must say, highly practical. A garden bench built from hardwood oak, treated with pine tar and elevated off the soil, can last decades. Raised beds, fences or pergolas benefit similarly. Even small applications of these historical techniques yield long-lasting, resilient timber structures. By learning from Viking ingenuity, we achieve durability that modern chemicals cannot always match. Viking timber survived a thousand winters through careful observation, practical treatments and patient preparation. Moisture control, natural coatings, careful species selection, proper cutting and drying all contributed to remarkable longevity. These centuries-old methods remain relevant today offering sustainable ways to protect wood naturally and build structures that endure. For more historically grounded techniques, practical insights and sustainable construction tips, subscribe to Echoes of Valor and share this video with fellow history enthusiasts. Learn from Viking mastery, preserve your wood, and bring the wisdom of the past into your modern projects.